like it at the moment, but was an option there. Um, but yeah, Niski going to go back towards the Orianna. Going to have a decent amount of time of trying to still play aggressive in this lane. You don't get to play as aggro with the auto attacks, but you still a case of, cool, can we get a big enough advantage that we bypass not having an engaged supporter or a tanky supporter, a support that at least brings a bit more to the table. So, And even the fact that when you look at how you are trying to X, right? But if you end up not sending X kick and DOS to this top side, yep. all right, cool, we will take the full terror and we will start oh, to explode Peach this out here. Magnusorm going down. No, doesn't even have time to flash with the depth charge first blood over to SK Peach, just a little bit too greedy with his positioning. And Doss, a slight misstep, not costing too much for Giant X, apart from obviously the 400 gold that goes hand in hand with first blood. Second dragon of the game for Giant X, and now they'll look for this bot lane tower. Apollo is basically a small worm, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the tower in the bot lane, the first target here, and Charter Crystal Hour on Dosh, cleanse immediately from Exit Kick as he gets away from the Glacial Prison. TP behind as Patrick burns the heal. Isma looking for the engage, Fates call out, irrelevant, knocked back by the, <laughs> the cast from Oda Omne, but Patrick is locked out by the Renekt, and Peach next up on the menu. Imagine if he still had his flash, but he died, and maybe he'll rise again in a few moments' time, 20 seconds. Of all peaches back on the map, SK punished well. Also, you're trying to kill a Nautilus with Aftershock under a tower. Like, uh, the guy has CC and it's tanky. It just feels like a, a step too far, a cheat from Giant X. Is it Isma caught out with the Arctic Assault here? The spear's going in, tries to get the stun, can't quite land it as Patrick dances to the side. Good hook, though, into the Shockwave, landing on three. Patrick gets a kill, but he might pay for it with his life as Exekick takes him down. Peach next up as SK get two in Charter Crystal Arrow from Ignar, but Exekick on the chase, and he will manage to help Niski secure it. In the end, another good trade for SK. Three for two. Odo's going to use just that little bit of extra movement speed, but not as strong as it once was. As Jackie splashes in, Niski no flash. Shockwave available. Does get the pull back, but Jackie's still chasing forward here, and Niski will be shut out of the fight by Jackie's. Peach now caught out once again. It's rotten to the core, that Peach, it seems, this game. As he has to dash away. Knight's Vow finished for him. Sunfire Cape first for Isma. No Knight's Vow yet. Perhaps no one. Almost two items complete onto Niski. He's going to be a pretty dangerous boy when it comes to these fights. Last night, Alderation will spot out the Dragon's HP. Spears being stacked into it. Isma looking for the engage on Peach, finds it once again. And Peach has to dash away. And now in the middle of the pit, the rest of Giant X are left to the Wolves. Another hook comes in from Doss. There's the AD carry support duo killed off. And the Dragon secured by SK. And a great example of the downside of taking an Ash is that... Jackie's is 2-0, has the Eclipse complete. Niski, 2-1-3, and three, as Peach once again caught out. And it doesn't matter what sort of profit you are, I'm not sure these writings are really coming up trumps for Giant X. Patrick trying to do what he can towards the side here. Isma locked up. Odo now the next target for SK as he falls, and the chase continues. Peach has to use the Mega Blast cone oh, up here. Like, you try and take the scrap, Patrick is clearing out a wave in mid lane, he's not able to get in position to follow up, and SK are just, ooh, maybe actually gonna get caught here. Doesn't have a flash. No Glacial Prison for Peach either. Irrelevant now on the chase. Come on, Dissonance for the speed up. Peach could be stunned up. Ignal pathing towards the wrong side of the rift. I'm sorry, mate. There be monsters. <laughs> As SK get their 10th of the game, and it's becoming a shooting gallery. For on this top end, because he's able to deal with much more of this pressure, and I think this is a good call from Giant X. They realize, look, we can't really contest for Dragon oh. position, and Niski's gone! Niski is locked out, but Ignal falling low as well. Down towards the bottom side, he was caught out. Irrelevant now TPing in, trying to bolster up the defenses on this tower. Jackie's just trying to take the turret underneath the Relevant's nose, and they'll get it. Doss dashing in with the depth charge and the flash. Peach flashing away as well, but he's caught with a hail of arrows. Jackie's next up for SK as Irrelevant gets the shutdown. Ignar and Patrick unable to join up with their team, but all their summoners to escape. But Doss will not give Odo the same luxury. Dredge line hits, and Odo goes under. So the idea is nice from Giant X. It's, hey, we can't really fight this dragon, because as we said, Jackie's is off a bit of a GX, hadn't committed to the dragon, and that's where they're able to then immediately rotate all members up. Now, Niski Yeah, spotted. he's going to spot out Ignar and Patrick. Ignar has the edge of night. Patrick trying to step back into him. No ultimates available for the Giant X bot lane. It was a call from Giant X to go for the Dragon because they knew SK were on the bound, but Niski's TP down there means that they do not get any objectives out of the trade. SK now with a four... As many waves as possible. Oh, Peach. Made in boss and... Oh, Peach. Flashes away. Irrelevant, though. Can look for a bit more of a chase. Isma's on his way as well, and once again, it's Peach being a little bit too greedy. There's the arrow onto Isma. Jackie's now caught out as he tries to save his jungler and pays for it with his life. Well, that was a little uh, speed up. They won't even get to it, which is just going to be 
it's going to be an awful day all around, you know? Jackie's up in nine seconds, Irrelevant is showing top to push out that wave, so there is a tiny window of opportunity here as Isma looks for the engage, TP in by Irrelevant, they know Jackie's has only just spawned, he's coming back out with already, Oda Wamne is down, so what was a possible 5v4 in favour of Giant Hex immediately becomes a 5v4 on SK's side as they manage to use that TP in to kill off the enemy top. Behind, but also partly because composition. we, yeah, compositionally and we just haven't seen the the proactivity from Giant X that we are seeing from SK as he goes in. Oh, Omne though, able to catch out Exekick on the backside, has to pop the stopwatch. Ignar and Patrick now can open up and we say maybe SK will misplay. Well, perhaps they do as the fates call. Pulls back Ignar, Peach on the front line, Ignar going back in, Doss with the hook, tanked up by Ignar, has the barrier, has the heal. Now we see though Patrick's the one who goes too far forward. Does SK get another? Although Isma died off first, SK still have come out on top. I mean, Odo, we salute you. That was definitely a well-earned try, but there was just nothing that you could do. Nerdy gets X kick, but X kick's playing poke fire, so he just continues to hit you from a while. Fates call back up in six seconds time. Odo Omne still has the cask. SK setting up in this bush, and they use the Mega Blast Cone to try and get in. Isma does have the Magnet Storm. Odo Omne looking for the knock back as Isma steps on the front line, and Odo Omne is just gobbled. Eaten alive by SK, 18 kills to five, an 8,000 gold lead, and Batman next up. Yeah, and Odo was kind of the only one that was a threat there to SK. If you end up with a big barrel, maybe you can get Niski or X-Kick before they're able to turn out damage, but with that gone, SK turn over towards the Baron, and GX would try, or Giant X would try desperately to get this mid lane tower, but even then, I don't think SK want to give him anything. Yeah, Doss and Niski can probably just defend. Accelerated shot pass going wide, a minute and a half on uh, Patrick and Ignar ahead in this game. They were winning through the bot lane, they moved them up to the top side well, they stayed around, they got all of this early gold and then it just all collapsed. Isma finding an engage as well as Patrick's locked up and shut out with a shockwave, magnet storm combination, not really much he can do, irrelevant pushing through the mid lane. Even yesterday they had the wing con of Smolder and they just weren't able to find it weren't able to actualize on it. Double inhibitor is going to go down as Doss looks for another dredge line. Depth charge as well onto Odo Omne. He falls down to a third HP. Inhibitor in the mid lane still standing as Irrelevant decided instead to come over him and bolster up his team. Glacial Prism hits onto the back line, but there's no follow-up. Jackie's trying to do what he can from range. Ignar doing the same. One Nexus Tower falls. Teleport out by Niski into the teleport in by Niski. It was a recall into TP. Mid lane inhibitor goes down. Irrelevant looking for Odo Omne. Glacial Prism not available for Peach. Explosive cask possibility, but it's all done. But that Nexus going down now as Giant X are just locked up in place. SK will get their first win of the split in convincing fashion. Yeah, I mean, it was only a matter of time, but SK were able to pick it up at the end of the day. I mean, look, as you say, Giant X, strong early game. They should have been able to close this one out, but big mistakes from Peach caught out on multiple different occasions and just gave that opportunity for SK to slow down the pace of the game, start to find these team fights. And once they had the team fights, it was just no stopping. I wonder what would have happened for Giant X if they hadn't had those few individual errors. Player of the game votes at LEC on Twitter, though. Irrelevant, Isma and Doss are your options.